Hey guys, it's Kerem Walker, Drew Brand of you. Today we are back and we are doing that tier list that I promised to do after I finished Expo, after I did regular mode. So yeah, today we're going to be doing that tier list. So we're going to get straight into it. The first boss, if I can actually find it in this jumbled mess of pictures. Uh, frick, where is it? Where's the potato? Where's the potato? That freaking potato, what's his name? Frick. I don't think I have the potato. Oh, son of one. Oh, they do. Never mind, I'm blind. Yeah, so the root pack, they're going in. They're going, obviously, going in freaking easy, baby. Let's go! Yeah. Uh, Goopy Legrand is the same. Uh, who else? Definitely Cagney. Cagney was really, really easy. I didn't even struggle with Sally's stage play. Captain Brunny Beard was a bit... was a bit hey going, but apart from that, it was... Yeah, so I'm not going to do him. Baroness Von Bonbon. I don't... I don't actually remember beating, beating a first try. Hold up a second, guys. Let me just, uh... Did I beat Bar Baroness von Von on my... In my first... Oh, I didn't mean to go that far. Hold up a second. What? Oh my god, nostalgia. Okay, so no, we didn't beat a first, we didn't beat a, okay, so we won't do her, but surprisingly, uh, what's his name, where is he, where is he, where's Beppy, where's that clown ass looking motherfucker, huh, where are you, oh, let me just, let me just, be, don't mind me being blind for a minute here, Beppy, 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 where is Beppy? Am I just blind? I think I might just be blind and I can't see him. Do, do, do. Rivian Croaks. Rivian Croaks are actually pretty hard, so we'll put them in. Didn't break a didn't break it, but I didn't break a sweat when playing when doing them. It was they were pretty easy. One a woman. One a woman was didn't break a sweat. Cause no. Yeah, it was it was pretty easy. Oh, I found Beppy. He he was freaking easy. No, no. Yeah, he was. I was humble. Yeah, Hildebug. Hildebug. Hildebug was. Yeah, these ones were surprisingly easy. So you know. Who else? Who's next? We've done all the IL one bosses, I think. Or am I just? I think I might just be dumb. Um. Anyway, on to IL two, shall we? Baroness von Bonbon, definitely one of those bosses that actually was a difficulty spike. The Jimmy. I'm scared of this man. This man, he scares me. Um, <sighs> Wally Wa Wally Wobbles. Those those that that was hard. That was that was hard. You know what? Okay. Well, who else? Who is next? Who have we done today yet? Okay. Okay, who who else is next? Who else is next? 
Captain Briningbeard, he was didn't break a sweat level threat. But he was directly in the middle. Hold on a second, I, I'll be right. Okay, I'm back. I just had to do some chores. Okay, so where were we? Ah, yes. Ranking what I put myself through for, tw for more than 22 episodes. Okay, so, um, D Cal Maria, the... Dr. Cal, Doc, 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 Dr. Cal. You know what, these were, these were decently hard, not gonna lie. Okay, so I'm doing these at like a combined ranking, so all of these, these four bosses are like, together. Okay, so, easy, difficulty tweak, didn't break a sweat was surprisingly harder than I thought it was. Um, freaking easy. I, I didn't usually take a hit on that one. Didn't get this one a lot, so freaking easy. Cool at a top of... Mango Steam was freaking near the bottom. Well, the root packet near the bottom, but still... No, well, King Dice was actually decently hard, and Mr. Chimes Crane Machine, he was he was up there. The Devil, the the the, the Devil, Glumstone, top of difficulty tweak. Um, Mortimer Freeze. Well, <laughs> freaking easy because of that glitch. That just made that just let me skip to the last phase, because I just did so much damage to him. Esther Winchester, but. She she was the tr the true hardest boss. What? They were actually pr decently hard, but I did beat them, like almost first try. So, moonshine mob moonshine mob did take me a little bit, but I but I have to say they weren't too hard. Oh sh uh, okay. So I can't really rank these last few bosses because I haven't done them yet, but Chef Zolbeko. Yeah. So that's the current tier list. Just take a good look at this. And I'll do these ones later. So I'm going to switch over to a weapons, charms, and stuff like that tier list. And I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm now that I've pulled up this tier list, I'm just going to use this one for now. Because this was the only good one I could find. Okay, so the P-Shot. The P and I'm good by the way I'm gonna be ranking these to I'm not gonna be ranking these together the P shot itself is the is the bam is the is very it's pretty good and it ex is actually really good you can actually get some pretty good damage with it so they're both going B tier that's a bare standard um spread shot spread shot is actually is a tier and it's ex is also a tier um Chaser, I did rely on Chaser for quite a few boss fights, as if you saw, but it's not that powerful, and its EX isn't really that good, so it's going in C tier. And, but the, no, the EX looks trash, it's going in D tier. It, it sucked. Lobber is an easy S tier. Lobber and it's super. It does a lot of damage, and it helps with, and it can be used with actually quite a few bosses. So, yeah, it's going in S tier. Okay, the uncracked crap, the un, the uncharged charge is D tier, the charged shot, high C tier, that is actually decently good. S tier, no, no explanation required, I mean, that can get some serious damage, you can just, just do it on top of like, bosses like Ruby and Crooks and stuff, and it'll do like serious damage. Crackshot, also S tier. It was what got me through the DLC and the bosses, and I think some bosses that I did struggle with. Hold on a second, let me just, um, I'm gonna just quickly try out Converge and, and, and Twister, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is just some footage of me, um, trying the, um, the ones that I haven't done, so with, which is the heart rate. Twist up and the converge and the divine, the broken relic. Do the divine, the divine stuff regular, but we're gonna try to the clumps with the giant with these, and we'll see how we go. 
This match will get red hot. And begin! Yeah, so this is just a test, and on this boss now, I'll probably do other bosses in the future. You know, if you guys want to see me do a run where I, where I, where I do the DLC or something, like I, I play the game, but I can only use the B shot, I, I would do that. I do that just because I can. backwards with this. That's actually kind of handy, not gonna lie. No, I'm not, if I'm to be completely honest with you guys right now, I'm not actually trying. I'm just testing stuff out. Because that that one didn't have all of the charms and stuff, but this one has the unused weapons, which we're not going to count. But still, yeah. So I tried in, in crack shot and, and no converge and, and twist up. Twist up is it's it's a very low C in my opinion. It's not that good, but it's decent. It's if I'm to be completely honest, the um the um. The the spread sh it the converge is just a worse version of the spread sh of the spread shot and the rifle mode isn't honestly that good because you know you I think I don't I don't know what you have to do to get, use it yeah Hotchon Hotchon is a is a is a high C here because it's not that bad smoke dash S tier no no explanation required P sugar I never used P sugar F tier coffee actually pretty good B tier um dual heart charm A because it got me through quite a bit who legitimately who uses white whetstone whitestone whatever you call it oh um, chalice is cookie S tier because chalice is just great yeah um if you play it right yeah um it's F tier 
I don't know about the Cursed Relics or the Divine Relics because I haven't used it. The Plain Bullets, they're, they're S-tier because they're, they're the normal Plain Bullets are much better than the, than the Chalice ba and pl Plain Bullets. The Mini Bullets are F-tier because they're hard to use. Apparently there's an achievement for using for being a boss using only the mini, mini plane bullets. The main m plane thing, hey, it, it's B tier, it's the standard. The bomb, all the bomb, it is the bomb and the magnets, they're great. I'm gonna say low C tier, it's not great. I'd say, yeah, that, that, that seems, yeah, this, this, the double magnet, great, it's great, you can, you can stack it, and it does a lot of damage, um, downwards, I never used this, so, super arm one, it's basic, but it gets the job done, so we're gonna go high A tier, Inv invincibility, easy S tier. Yes, it's only for five seconds, but it's really useful for bosses like the devil and other ones. Super Art 3, there's not a lot of uses for it, so I'm gonna say no. The plain super, easy, easy S tier. Wow, I'm putting a lot of these in S tier. Huh. Chalice's first super art is just the worst version of the of the of the normal of the normal first super art. Shield pal, shield pal is S tier. It is better than invincibility, better than it's up there with. You know what? I need to put this up here because this this is great. That is great. Um, you know, the third super art was the ghost barrage. I didn't use it, but it seems pretty good. I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. And it this Chalice's plain one is just harder to control than the other one, but it's so it's not the best. I'm gonna say low A tier. And that that's it. That's that part of the video is done. And that's the the video done. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, you the gist. Make sure that you go check out the Cuphead playthrough and just look out for more episodes. I'll see you all in the next one. Ciao for now.